kick ass? Okay, it's kick ass. I'll sit back then. Sit back and relax and enjoy Nicholas Cage. Oh, God. Aaron Johnson and Lindsay Fornscaff. <laughs> kick ass tells the story of average teenager Dave Lazinski, a comic book fanboy who decides to take his obsession as inspiration to become a real life superhero. As any good superhero would, he chooses a new name, kick ass, assembles a suit and mask to wear, and gets to work crime fighting. There's only one problem standing in his way. Kick-Ass has absolutely no superpowers. Rated R for strong, brutal violence, pervasive language, sexual content, nudity, oh. and some drug use involving children. Kick-Ass. That's why we're superheroes. We love us. In theaters April 16th for restricted content and Kick-Ass on Facebook. Don't forget to get your restricted content on Facebook, Dave, as the trailer is over almost immediately. Was that McLovin? It was McLovin oh, in there. McLovin. Nicholas Cage. This is based on a comic book uh, done like, by John Romita Jr. Hmm. His father did some of the original Spider-Man. But this is odd because it looks like a kiddie movie, and yet we're reading it's R-rated. There's nudity, violence. So I don't know what is going on in here. It's not a kiddie movie, Ed. I guess not. Unreal. All right, what are we moving along to now, Ed? Would, um, it, would it be Death at a Funeral? Yes. All right. Death at a Funeral stars Chris Rock, Peter Dinklage, Ron Glass, Danny Glover, Regina Hall, Martin Lawrence, James Marsden, and Tracy Morgan. Death at a Funeral is a hilarious day in the life of an American family come together to put a beloved husband and father in the dirt. As mourners gather at the family home, shocking revelations, festering boils of resentment, ugly threats, blackmail, and a misdirected corpse unleash lethal and riotous mayhem. Rated R for language and drug content. In 12th grade. But that ass is in grad school. Mm. I need you to pick up Uncle Russell. We're gonna be late, fatty. Oh, damn it, Uncle Russell. I love you, but you're gonna be in the box next. Oh. My heart's racing. Here, try this. You sure? What's wrong with Oscar? Oh. I gave him one of your Valiums. So here's the thing. What you thought was Valium is actually like a hallucinogenic. Hello. Yikes. What side of the family is he on? You still think about me, don't you? I was drunk. You could have been a donkey for all I knew. Thank you. It's not a compliment, Derek. Girl, get me in here. I got you. What the hell are you doing? Oh, my head is stuck. Ah, I love these fantasies. No! No, my head is stuck! And now we'll hear a word from Edward's son, Aaron. The coffin just moved. The coffin is moving. There's somebody struggling to get out. That was heavy duty the way your father fell out of his coffin like a dead fish. He was like, wow. I was like, damn. I was so sorry to hear about your dad. Were you guys friends? Something like that. You telling me our father was on the down low? Way down. Now the guy wants $30,000 or he's going to start showing pictures of them doing stuff. No, no, I don't believe that. Oh, daddy. Let me get this straight. Our father was romantically involved with a guy that could fit in his pocket. And you're mad because he's white? <laughs> Peter Dinklage, Ed. Yeah, he's a tiny actor, very good actor, though. Yes. Did you ever see the film The Station Agent? No. Good film with Peter Dinklage. <laughs> I saw uh, Nip Tuck Season 4 with Peter Dinklage, though. <laughs> He was also in a film with Tim Robbins and um, some chick who does Medium, Arquette. Mm -hmm. I don't know the name Patricia of the film. Patricia Arquette? Yeah, I don't know the name of the film, but he was in that too. Very good actor for yeah. such a small man with a big head. <laughs> 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 I don't know if he's a midget or a dwarf or neither one of these are politically correct anymore. What's the difference? Explain that to me. One of them is pretty much in proportion and one have the big knuckles. <laughs> <laughs> what? And the, oh. the sausage fingers. <laughs> oh, that really. Oh, that helped. Does that help you, Dave? Uh, I'll, I'll, you know, I'll have to go on 
<laughs> uh, the internet and look at that fine Wikipedia. Okay. They know everything. They do on there. Oh. I don't know how they do it. Hey, Ed, let me ask you a question. <laughs> yes. Who's Kenny Chesney? I'm not sure, but I know he's in 3D this summer, Dave. I'm going to tell you who Kenny Chesney <laughs> is. Okay. Ed. Kenny Chesney is the biggest ticket seller of this century in any oh, musical genre. Any, Ed. Huh. And he's just wrapped his latest concert tour, the Sun City Carnival. For a limited engagement in movie theaters nationwide, Kenny Chesney's Summer in 3D will give fans the chance to live the fun, the friends, the songs, and the moments that make Kenny Chesney the must-see concert experience to kick off the summer season. Apparently the summer is starting in April now. Uh, I guess, because this is going to be out forever, because everyone's going to want to see this a million times. Are they? No. No. I know a lot of people love this country stuff here, but I'm not included in that. I'm not. I'm not. Unless it's like, you know, Shania Twain or Faith Hill, something you can look at. Mm -hmm. I don't, you know, no. Oh, look, it's raining. It's very... Uh, Even if, I'm not seeing, other than that rain, anything that would jump out at you in 3D here. I don't know why you would want to see it in a theater. I think he aims the guitar at the camera. Does he? Yeah, and you look like you could play it. <laughs> the uh, Miley Cyrus concert 3d did well did it but not the jonas brothers so i don't know how kenny chesney is going to do it. and that celine dion concert oh. tanks probably because it wasn't in 3d you really want to see her in 3d because <laughs> all you're going to do is see a nose yeah it's going to come right out at you that's right and all the boogies <laughs> <laughs> yeah. all right uh dvd releases more more DVD releases? Well, this, this is a new week here. I know, but they come out all the time? They come out every week. It's the last. And we're keeping track of the Dallas seasons. This is season 13. They're all coming out, Dave. There's one more. How many more. seasons were there? 14? I swear it was 13, but somehow they've got 14. Well, 78 to 91, correct? The first season was uh, six episodes, okay. so it's kind of tough. It's emergency. With season six. How many did this last, producer? It's probably six. You watched them all, though, right? Yeah. All right, from left to right. Oh, go ahead. Bobby Troop. Oh, no. Uh, Robert Fuller. Mm -hmm. Dixie. I don't know. Julie London. Dixie Enough. D Julie London. Randolph Mantooth. <laughs> okay. And Kevin Teig? Mm -hmm. uh, there you go. Not Teague. No. I go Teig. Randolph Mantooth, who then appears on, or did for a while, some soap. That must have been the last season, I would imagine. It's classic television at Emergency. It is, up from Universal. Engine 51, Squad 51, Engine 51, Squad 51. This was on Saturdays, though, opposite the All in the Family lineup. At 8 so o'clock. I, I never saw any right? Emergency. Yeah. Yep. Ah. Jack Webb. What a great show. Alias Smith and Jones. Well, this is the season after the... Is this what the guy, the first guy was dead already? This is season two and three. I jumbled out season one because I couldn't find a picture of the second season box. Oh. So I don't... And one of them did die, so I don't know... Killed himself. <laughs> is it it's probably one of these guys? Uh, it would have been the guy, uh, the dark-haired dude on, up on, on top there. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I think he killed himself. Yeah. And I don't remember his name, but... Uh, and it was replaced with another one for seasons two and three, which is coming out this week. Oh. Aliens. Another one of those kind of lost shows. Right. Batman Returns, Ed. On Blu-ray, all the Batmans now, but I included this. This is my uh, probably my favorite of the Batman films, Dave. Hmm. Do what? you have a favorite, or have you seen uh, any? My favorite would probably be any one that I would have seen. <laughs> you never. And I, since I haven't seen any of them. You haven't seen no. any. The original Michael Keaton, Jack no. Nicholson. No, no. I I, why am I on a movie uh -huh. program? Why? Why? I don't know any films. You, you see a lot of films. Not, you don't seem to see a lot of the action superhero type films. Not your cup of tea. Not my cup of tea. You do enjoy horror films like I Spit on Your yes. Grave. Yes. <laughs> Matango. Matango, the attack of the puppet people. Or yes. mu <laughs> Mush mushroom, mushroom people. people. Um, Reptilicus, these kinds Reptilicus, of films. Reptilicus, The Curse of the Werewolf. Uh, gangster movies with James Cagney. Hmm. 